We're going to make a simple house and in doing so practice using the main tools inside SketchUp. The first tool we're going to use is the um, zoom tool and if you left click hold it down if you move the button down you zoom out if you move it up you zoom in. You can also use it on your touchpad so if you move your fingers apart you zoom in fingers out you zoom out. Now we're going to add a rectangle to our world and we're going to add it you can see there's on the ground there's a green axis and going up a blue axis there's also red axis. So we're going to draw now we're going to draw it round our figure. Our figure is there for scale but also as we draw the rectangle down the bottom you can see it's showing the measurements so that's changing as we drag out our um, rectangle we're going to pull on the pull up pull push down tool and we're going to lift it up and all of a sudden we have a 3d world i'm going to use an orbit tool this allows us to tilt and rotate our world and on the top of our um, cube we're going to draw a line down the middle as i hover it over as we put our line there and you're going to move it on to the midpoint that usually shows up there we go oh, that's the edge sometimes shows the midpoint and i'm going to draw draw the line across when it's a um, straight line you see it went green and then with the move tool just pull up the roof so we've got a pitched roof there just going to zoom out and use an orbit tool just to move around my house and we're going to add some windows so you just have to think of your shape so for a window we're just going to use a rectangle shape so we're just doing a simple design but it's very effective and quite straightforward to do so we've got our and then we'll just add a door if you make a mistake you can go edit undo or edit redo so there's my door and I actually want when I with my windows I want to frame so I can go up and there's a tool called the offset tool the offset tool and what this does it draws inside the current shape forming the similar shapes I can drag it out and there I've got a frame inside I'm going to do the same with this so the offset tool just makes that shape inside the original shape okay so I've got don't quite look like windows yet so I'm going to use the paint bucket and this when the paint bucket all different materials show up um, so I pick the material I want and I'm just going to click on there and it paints all of that area. I'm just going to orbit around and go around the whole house just using the orbit tool. So all four sides have got their brick. And just do the fourth wall. Oh, you can see our person sticking out, but that shows us that the house is the right size. So just move back around to the front and that's looking quite good I think. I'm just going to zoom out so I can see the whole house. Remember I can use my touchpad or the mouse. And I'm just going to go down where you see this drop down menu and we're going to go in. I'm looking at changing those um, windows. Actually let's do the wood around the windows first. So that's our frame. I'm just going to click there. Just now, I'm going to go in and just add a window. So this is windows and mirrors. It says translucent. So there's our mirrors. It says translucent. So let's see what happens when I click on my window. Well, it looks like you can look in. Let's just use the orbit tool. And when we use our orbit tool, all you can see inside. So um, that's quite effective. And I'm just going to click on the X to close that window and use my.
pan tool just to move the house over and offside or then go and um, add detail to the color and detail to the doors and do the other window first we're just going to do the roof so you can pick whatever tiles you want there and we're just all going to do the other side so you can see in just a few minutes we've made our basic house there's lots of scope for children to do lots of different designs and make each house look different so good luck with SketchUp